organizations are looking for ways to optimize their use of the cloud. And one of the best ways to do that is to uh, use it as a, a long-term repository for storage. But that creates a whole new set of uh, problems that you have to deal with. And there are new solutions coming on the market that can help uh, address some of those issues. Joining me on the Lightboard today to discuss that is Jeff Hughes. He's founder and CTO at Igneous. Jeff, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thank you, George. So uh, let's let's jump into it here. What uh, kind of walk us through what you have drawn up and what we're dealing with? Yeah, you know, in in the world of large scale storage of files and objects, we find that there's this common challenge of how do I have a secondary copy that isn't taking up a ton of data center space? Sure. And how do I take advantage of some of those new technologies out there like the cloud and and these great cost points that are out there for that? Right. But what we found is a lot of folks struggle with. The, the ways of using kind of the old software for the new world. Right, right, sure. And, and so what you see is that, hey, there's kind of been two strategies of how do I get a second copy of my primary data, and that really comes down to either kind of a disk-to-disk -disk strategy, uh -huh. which is great because, hey, I can use kind of either a like-for-like -like, uh, copy there and get some DR capabilities, sure. but it also can be very costly, and if you look to moving that to the cloud, it gets even more costly when you have the compute and the storage involved there. Okay, and what's the other one? The other way is tape. You okay. know, it's been around a long time and it's it's still quite competitive out there. Sure. But the ways in which you use tape doesn't really work for the cloud either. Right. For tape, you know, you're recycling tapes, you're doing fulls all the time. Right, sure. And and in that world, if you do a full copy of your data to the cloud every time you want to do uh, your rotation of, of space, it takes up a lot of time. And, and I think from the cloud, from the infrastructure side, they're presenting uh, really attractive options from uh, you know, like a deep archive type of capability, right? Yeah, when you look out there, you know, especially with the new offerings in kind of Azure Archive Blob or AWS Deep Archive, there are, are some, and, and actually uh, Google has their uh, cold line, uh, ice cold, I think they call it now. Right. And, and all of these are very attractive price points, especially in, in the tape market. Uh, and so you have to, though, be very conscientious of those things because the transaction cost can be very high. And, right. and so you, you can't just use the old software again. You know, if I, I treat it like a tape and just write things out there, it can add up pretty quickly. So I, I would think that managing retention becomes a real critical aspect here. You're absolutely right. When you look at retention, you have this model of uh, uh, how do I do expiration? And in the cloud, uh, how do I choose if I'm backing up my entire file system? I might have certain things expiring out at different times. Right. And, and how do you manage that? For, for us, we maintain an index of all of those objects and know and how to do that on an incremental forever way. Okay, so, so what you guys have is a file by file understanding essentially of, of the data that you're protecting. That's, a, that's absolutely right. Okay. So Jeff, I think you know we've clearly articulated some of the uh, opportunities that the cloud presents as far as really driving down the cost of storage, but also some of the challenges that traditional models, and I think it's one of those things where you can't use old stuff to take advantage of new infrastructure. You need a new way of thinking about it. Right. So why don't you walk us through what you guys are doing at Igneous to uh, take advantage of these new capabilities. Yeah, absolutely. So when you start, you, you have to have a full copy of the data. And so you take your full copy from the primary and, and you ship that over to the cloud. And in the cloud, what you see here is a, a, a starting copy. Now, if you went back and said, hey, if I treat this like a tape, I've got to delete this whole thing in the future, right. uh, you, you'd have a problem because a lot of these services require that you keep that online for X amount of time or you get penalized. Right. So what we do is we add layers on top of this as you have changes uh, that we track at an individual file level what's all in each one of these backups that we make here. Okay. So the so the advantage here is like in in the former world this is one thing that the, that software doesn't really have insight into. It sounds to me like you have insight into what's inside that blob. Is that fair? That's exactly right. Okay. Is that in the cloud we keep track of an index of where all of these things are pointed to here. Okay. So that we can say like at any point in time what did your backup world look like? Gotcha. Okay. Now, just the same, when you want to go expire data because it's out of retention or maybe you have a request for, for purging a certain piece of information, you can go back and individually mark what needs to be deleted out of this copy here. Right, and not mess up the rest of the backup. That's right. Okay. And so you just keep pressing forward on that. Okay. And so that allows me to have different retention times for different types of files all within my backup? That's absolutely right. You can, at a very granular level, see what level of, of retention there is. Okay, and so the, um, now, one of the challenges I typically see with sort of a file-by-file -file backup is 
the time it takes to get that file by th that scan done, if you will. What have you guys done to address that? Yeah, so we have a, a patented technology called Adaptive Scan, okay. which was designed for the ground up of exactly doing that. So okay. that's probably room for another talk altogether. But. Right. So that that so that happens. So if, if I've got that concern, because again, if I have one of these old products, they're not they don't have that type of technology. You guys don't suffer from that. That's correct. Yeah, you know, we we built from the ground up for exactly this problem of okay. billions of files and petabytes of data. Now, am I writing directly to one of these uh, deep archive tiers, or do I go to a, like a, an S3 and then move down tiers? How do you guys manage that? We can do both. Okay. You can actually uh, utilize lifecycle policies and write to like an S3 and have it tier down. Okay. Uh, but most of our customers write directly to uh, a, you know a, a, a deep archive or an archive blob. Okay. And then if I want to, uh, what's the process to find the data that I need to either delete or, as the example you said here, or, or change a policy or something like that? Yeah. So this index that we keep on a file by file level has a full searchable capability, so you can filter down to exactly what you want to restore and what time and that timeline you want to restore from. Okay, and and, and is the primary focus of the uh, solution is unstructured data? It is. So we focus exclusively on unstructured data, so your okay. files and objects. Okay. So this, so out here, I might have a, a, a NAS of, of of some sort or something like that. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And then, so then you guys use your scan technology to quickly scan that, and then I'm making copies of it up here in the cloud, um, and then I can, you know, do all these different policies that you want to do uh, from there. That's correct. And and really, what we're able to do is just kind of maintain that cost point that the cloud offers while not diluting it with kind of old software. Okay. And then do I... Do I keep, so if, let's say I, I've got the old software. It sounds to me like I would keep using my old software to do, you know, like database protection and things like that, but I would transition to you guys to protect my unstructured data pool. Is that right? That's exactly right. What we found is that, look, unstructured is the uh, fastest growing and the hardest to manage. And so that was the problem that we went after. We think there's, there's some great solutions out there for, for your block-based workflows. Okay, and so then, yeah, so let those guys continue to work on that. They're, they're, they, a lot of them really do struggle with unstructured data. So shift to you guys for the unstructured data and then leverage the cloud to store those copies, essentially. That's right. If, if I want to copy on-prem as a backup, is that an option as well? Yeah, we have a number of customers that deploy in what we'd call a hybrid model, where okay. they'll keep X amount of days retention locally for okay. fast restores, okay. and then keep their long-term archive out in the cloud. Okay. So then uh, talk, walk me through sort of the installation process. What do I, do I need to, I mean, how hard is it? What do I install on-prem? How do I set up my cloud accounts? Things like that. Yeah. So we do this all as a service and that's really one okay. of our differentiators. So to get started, all you need to do is download a VM that you install close to the data because as you know, accessing data over WANs could be pretty expensive. Right. Uh, and, and that's it, right? We run the rest. Uh, uh, you point us to your cloud account, okay. and, and we write to your cloud account, and we maintain the index for you. Okay, so you guys are actually the keeper of the index in, in between the two spots, essentially. That's correct, yeah. Okay. And then the uh, and then if I, but if I do want to install something on prem, do I get that from you or do I do I supply that? That's right. So we have the ability to install on on any sort of hardware. We install as software on any sort of hardware that you might have on prem. So we can do that both as a, a storage appliance and act as that in a okay. software defined way, or uh, writing to potentially local storage that you have as well. Okay. And then from there, I I would write it to local storage, and then you would move it to the cloud for me. If some sort of policy based trip. That's correct. Yeah, the most po common way we see it is that you'd back up to both locations simultaneously. So okay. you'd say, hey, I want to copy locally as well to the cloud. We also have a tiering option too, where you would write locally and then it would tier off to the cloud. And, and are most of your customers thus far, they're just, are they kind of self identifying, hey, man, unstructured data backup is killing me, or, or is it, do they get hit by a ransomware attack and they puts new light on it? What's the motivation? Probably the strongest motivation we see out there is folks who are either missing their SLAs okay. or don't have a backup at all. Okay. You know, when you work in this world of petabytes of data, it's been a, a, a historically hard problem to solve, right? right. And, and so that was why we went after this problem uniquely uh, and, and have really brought a solution to bear on that. And so most of our customers have definitely said, hey, look, I've got this problem really bad and, and I could use your help. So let's let's end up with one thing because what I see the uh, let's call them legacy solutions doing mostly here now is is an image backup, mm -hmm. uh, and you know image backups I think in in the sort of the modern era create a whole different set of problems, right? Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the issues you've seen with with that? Yeah, you know the first is just uh, uh, you're making a copy of large scale data. So if I'm talking about a petabyte and I take an image of that, yeah. Uh, 
I'm repeatedly backing up a petabyte. And so, you know, we have a great ROI calculator you can see on our, our website of even with tape, you're ending up with, you know, six, eight times full copies of your data. And right. that's a huge infrastructure uh, in your data center for just that. In the, in the disk-based world, uh, you know, the gap between uh, flash and what you might use for either disk-based backup is, is growing immense as well. And so, sure. again, you end up with this problem of, hey, I can't really tackle this problem by having a really dense secondary uh, and, and having, you know, an all-flash primary. So Right, okay. And then I, I think the other challenge that we see is that e even though some of the technologies can do sort of a, a block-level incremental, mm -hmm. at some point you have to do a consolidation job, and that, those consolidation jobs are essentially... Again, like running a full, and you got to have enough space to manage all the swapping and everything, right? That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. I think that uh, uh, you know when you see those models of hey, I'll 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 just capture incrementals forever, but I'm not truing that up over time. Yeah. Uh, it it creates a big kind of backlog of. of and, and you guys aren't suspect to that with your your anchor model? We're not. You know, we have that process there, and and also when you break things down on a file by file basis, it's a lot less. It's not on a block by block basis. Right. And so you can. Uh, uh, play a lot of uh, interesting tricks there. Okay. All right, so then uh, if I'm interested in this solution, uh, what should I do? You know, where do I go for more information? Yeah, sure. You can go to igneous.io, our website, and check out more collateral on there and see more videos about what we do. All right, well, Jeff, thanks for joining us on the Lightboard today. Yeah, thank you, George. All right. So there you have it. If you're dealing with unstructured data backup problems, uh, either just getting the job done or uh, having granular insight to what you're protecting and setting policies against that, uh, Igneous is a great solution to take a look at. It gives you that file-by-file -file understanding of, of really what you're is inside of your unstructured data backups. I'm George Crump, lead analyst George Switzerland. Have a great day.